So OpenAI has just shown everyone a new music video made by their latest AI model called Sora. And honestly, it feels like you're walking through a dream that's a bit wild. And the video was made with music from August Camp, Sora an artificial intelligence video generator developed by OpenAI has the capability to produce videos that span over a minute with multiple shots, starting from a simple text prompt. Up until now, only a few people have been able to try making stuff with it. OpenAI is still figuring out how to keep it safe before letting more people use it throughout the year. One of the first people to get to try Sora is August Camp. She's not just a musician, but also someone who looks into new things and likes to shake things up with her art. She thinks Sora is a big deal for artists because it means the only thing stopping them is their own imagination. August said it was amazing to finally share the images she's been thinking about for two years with everyone else, thanks to Sora. The details about how they made the video or how many little parts were put together to make the whole thing, which is two minutes and 19 seconds long, aren't shared. Usually videos made by AI are short, like just a few seconds, and adding more parts can make it messy. But Sora is different because it can make longer videos that look smooth and have several parts that fit together nicely. It seems this video has a bunch of these longer parts. The video, named World Wait, feels like you're stepping into a dream where it's always raining. The music has a magical feel, like you're standing alone under a shelter at night, watching the rainfall. August feels this music is very special to her. She remembers playing it on her synthesizer two years ago, feeling the rain outside and being happy to turn her feelings into a song. About when everyone else can use Sora, OpenAI's big tech boss Mira Marathi said it might happen this year. The CEO Sam Altman also mentioned new things coming out this year, but didn't say Sora specifically. Other companies are catching up, adding new features to make their tools better or more useful. Even Midjourney is making its own video tool that could come out this year. August Camp said that being able to easily make and change videos like this has opened up new ways for her to be creative. She's excited about the different kinds of stories people will be able to tell with tools like Sora in the future. However, OpenAI wants to be careful, especially with big elections happening around the world later this year. They don't want to release something that could cause problems with false information. So if they can't solve these problems before November, they might wait a bit longer to release Sora. It's a bit sad because Sora sounds like it could change the way people make videos, but it looks like we might still see Sora become available to more people before the year ends, starting with famous artists and creators. Just as Sora is breaking new ground in the world of video creation with its AI-driven capabilities, OpenAI is also making waves in the realm of AI-generated imagery with an exciting update for ChatGPT users. For those who have subscribed to OpenAI's paid service, there's now the added ability to edit images created by DALI directly within ChatGPT using simple text prompts. This development is significant because up until now, tweaking the images produced by DALI required a bit more effort and technical know-how. But by leveraging the conversational prowess of ChatGPT, users can now make adjustments to their AI-generated images as effortlessly as having a chat. In a demonstration that OpenAI I shared on social media, this new feature was showcased in action, highlighting the seamless integration between DALI's imaging capabilities and ChatGPT's text-based interface. Furthermore, DALI is expanding its toolkit, allowing users to specify the aspect ratio of the images they want to create and to apply various styles, such as motion blur or solar punk, to their creations. However, it's worth noting that, at least for the time being, these advanced features are exclusive to OpenAI's commercial and paid subscribers. This move opens up a plethora of possibilities for businesses and individual creators alike, enabling them to refine their visual content with unprecedented ease. The introduction of text-based image editing within ChatGPT is a big deal. It shows how we might use software differently in the future. Imagine just talking to your computer or a phone to edit videos, music, or anything digital. This kind of tech, like what Sora does for videos, makes using AI really easy and fun. OpenAI is all about making these smart tools simple for everyone, opening up a world where you can create anything you can think of. All right, now, Samsung just launched a bunch of smart home gadgets, including fridges and washing machines that you can talk to, aiming to stay ahead of cheaper Chinese products. These gadgets, announced in Seoul, come with smart AI chips and can do things like suggest recipes based on what food you have or let you control other devices in your home from their screens. 
At a demo, someone asked a fridge for recipe ideas using food that was about to go bad. The fridge showed what's inside on its door screen and came up with recipes. It can even get the oven ready to cook these recipes. You can control stuff like robot vacuums and air conditioners from other rooms through the fridge's screen too. Washing machines and dryers have screens for calls or videos, and if you're not home, they can turn off lights to save energy. Samsung also said they'll start selling these AI smart appliances that can work with cars and solar panels later in 2024. They're really pushing to make everything in your home smart and connected, especially using their Galaxy phones to control it all. The home appliance part of Samsung is big, but they're fighting to keep up with LG and cheaper Chinese brands. They're launching these new gadgets in the US and France too, hoping to attract customers worldwide. These smart gadgets are designed to save energy, like the new fridge that cuts down power use by 30% by adjusting its cooling. Now there's another piece of news you might not like, but I'll share it with you anyway. Google's thinking about charging for some new AI features in its search engine, which is a big change from its usual business style. Up until now, Google's search services have been free and paid for by ads. This new plan is because of all the buzz around AI, like ChatGPT, which is making Google rethink how it does things. Google's idea is to add these special AI search tools to its paid subscriptions, like the ones that already include its new AI assistant for Gmail and Docs. They're still figuring out the details and haven't decided for sure if or when they'll make these changes. Even with these new charges, the regular Google search we're used to would stay free and you'd still see ads in your search results. But this would be the first time Google asks users to pay for some extra search engine perks. Google makes a ton of money from search ads, over $175 billion last year alone. So they're trying to balance bringing in new AI stuff without messing up their main way of making money. Since ChatGPT came out and showed that AI can answer lots of questions all at once, Google's been trying to catch up. They started testing an AI search that gives more detailed answers but kept it limited to a few people. Meanwhile, Microsoft, which works closely with OpenAI, added some AI features to its Bing search engine. But it hasn't really caught up to Google in popularity. There's some worry that if Google's AI search gives two good answers on its own, websites that rely on Google for visitors and the ads Google shows might lose out. Google recently added a fancy version of its chatbot to its Google One subscription and its workspace apps. It's still not clear how Google will mix these AI search features into its paid services or when this might happen. They could still decide to add some of this AI stuff to the regular free search. Google mentioned they're not planning an ad-free search but are working on new premium features for their subscriptions. They've been trying out AI in search and seeing good results with plans to keep improving. All right, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one.